Turn the lights off, please. Okay. <laughs> I'll give it a second. I'm gonna have to edit this part out of the YouTube upload later. Woo! Like, I was waiting for it to do its stupid pop-up thing that it always freaking does. Anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. Alright, so, as I was trying to say, before I realized that I had not unmuted myself, I'm still a little sick. Fuck you. <laughs> but I'm feeling a little better, so we're going to try to get a movie riff out, because it is Friday after all, and I do like to stick to my schedule, even though YouTube has quit pushing these videos, and so no one's seeing them. But damn it, I love doing them, so I'm going to continue doing them, and fuck you, YouTube. Yeah, I'll push myself. I don't give a damn. I don't need you. I don't need you, girl. Shit. Anyway, so tonight, <coughs> we're going to watch The Beast of Yucca Flats. And we're going to watch the colorized version, because Cult Cinema Classics does that. Some of their movies are straight black and white. Other ones, they have colorized options. And uh, when I was doing my preview of this video, I only got to preview it once. This will be a bit of a rough riff. But when I was doing my preview, I did the preview of the colorized version, and it's hilarious, because, like, it's colored, but then parts aren't, and then there's parts where it'll be, like, part of an individual is colored, and then part of her is not, it's still black, it's, it's hilarious. I love it. Anyway, alright. So, The Beast of Yucca Flats, a movie from 1961, it, I really don't think I can give you any kind of description of the film without giving away the, the, the film. Uh, dude in the desert killing people. Ah, well, that works. There's a dude in the desert killing people, and there's people who are trying to stop him killing people. There we go. There, there's our description. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. Bam, chicka, bam. Bam, bam, chicka, bam, chicka, bam. Wipe that tears from your eyes. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be this kind of movie. <laughs> yeah. Man, OnlyFans was a lot different back in the day, huh? Also, I think her shoulder blades could literally be used to shave. Look at those damn things. Jesus. Olive oil while Popeye's away. That is an adorable stuffed tiger I did not notice earlier. Look at him. He's so cute. Just put your shoes on to walk from the shower to the bed? Was that necessary? Also, who left the microphone next to a clock? Also, how loud is that clock? Because I feel like we should hear something, right? Okay, so he's he's a brutal brutal killer, but he thought her legs looked uncomfortable, so he had to, to put them up on the bed to make sure she was cozy. The beast of your flats. No, mother, I'm not wearing those shoes. Those flats are yucca. The Lost Boys. I love that movie. What's that movie doing in this? Co-starring some other dudes. Oh, Jim Oliphant. That's uh, Timothy Oliphant's great-grandfather. I can't back that up. I don't... Tor! You gotta love Tor. If you're an, a Misty at all, you, you love Tor. Is that Freddy Krueger? Is that... Oh no, the coloring's just bad. Okay. I thought I saw the striped shirt staying in the doorway. The loneliest little rascal. Oh, there you go, buddy. Now. Joseph Javorski. Noted scientist. Joseph Dvorsky? escaped from behind the Iron Curtain. Why would you use Wife Iron Curtains? They would rust. Hungry. His aide carries a briefcase. Secret data on the Russian moonshot. 
Why would Joseph the Russians shoot the moon? Destination, Yucca Flats. What are you guys talking about? And a meeting with top brass at the A-bomb testing ground. That's good. You don't need bottom brass. You guys are useless. <laughs> Wait a minute. Vincent D'Onofrio, what are you doing here? The Kingpin has arrived. I didn't know Daredevil's a These men are also behind the Iron Curtain. Two of the Kremlin's most ruthless agents. Their orders? Get the briefcase. Kill Javorsky. I feel like you got some Pulp Fiction in our 60s horror film. Chasing down a briefcase, there's a big bald dude that has the briefcase. You know what I'm saying? Similarities about. Well, that's swell. I don't know. Look over there. Well, I don't got any plot. Wait, so those guys shooting each other or are they on the same side? Is anyone following this? Mr. Javorski, get in the car. Hey, someone finally had a line of dialogue. I was starting to wonder if it was like a silent movie. And instead of title cards, they just have that guy narrating everything. He accidentally slept in the wrong film and had to run back. Who's shooting and at what? I think you two guys are too far away to get clear. Now they're driving at Oh no, okay, someone else. Never mind. Well, all these crazy kids and their gunfights. Pretty sure that was Archie. Not Riverdale Archie, original Archie. Wait, if he's just now leaning out the window, who was shooting before? Flag on the move. Oh, How flag on the move. There? I thought they said flag on the move. I thought someone had committed a foul. Secret data. Pictures of the move. I prefer Sacred Heart. Secret data. Never before outside the crypt. Secret. I thought they said Man's sacred. first rocket to the moon. Are they trying to say the Russians made the first rocket to the moon and they're trying to cover it up? <laughs> Is that what the dude has in the briefcase? <laughs> he looks entirely too calm for what we're being told is happening. Taking a casual drive in the desert. No problem. What? Why? And then why would they switch positions? I don't... Uh, I can't read it. Oh. I don't... I'm sick of being the chased one. Let me chase you. Oh, okay. It's like, what just happened? Oh, he tripped. Poor guy. While he was distracted by all the bolts, they tied his shoelaces together. You go, Kingpin! I'll hold him off! Whoop, well, nothing to see here. <coughs> I don't know why he's fancy walking and jazz handing like it. Time out, guys! I gotta reload! Time out! Don't shoot! Hold on, I'm almost ready. Okay, go. Did he just take his belt off? Oh, he tripped too. That was a tie. Okay, that makes sense.
Well, at least we know the bad guys are cautious. I don't think it matters. I'm just... Yo, Kingpin, where'd you put your jacket, bro? Just leave it out in the desert? Also, your lighting is terrible. Is this night or day? <laughs> like, is it hot? Is that why you took the jacket off? Let's assume. You're not gonna eat that? Oh, yeah, come flats. The A bomb. Uh, I forgot why we were even killing those guys. Oh! Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio is Kingpin as the Hulk! Ooh, ow, no, oh, no, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot, ow, ow. Like a, a donkey, big floppy ears. Nice club. <coughs> a little sick. Well, that was a short movie. Uh, apparently we just wandered into a new one. Let's see what's happening here. That car has braces. My talk, dog's going to town on his own junk. It sounded like he was getting sick. I had to check on him real Vacation quick. Time. Man and wife. So, unaware of scientific. Problems. First, we were watching a movie about a scientist who apparently got nuked, and now we're watching a couple's vacation. Whatever, I guess. Oh, well, there's your problem. You drank all the motor oil. I'll just put you down over here. Yeah, he gets sleepy sometimes. See, now this is how you choke a man. So you gotta keep it for a good 20 minutes, and that's how you make sure he's dead there. Okay, that's about good now. Out of my way. Wait, how do you get inside the car? Also, that is the most subdued reaction to being choked I've ever effing seen. No, it is okay. This light fills me with a deep ennui. You will be doing me a favor, yes. Oh, that's little tighter. Or maybe she has a kink and she's enjoying it. I don't know. I don't judge. It's a little weird, but I don't judge. It's, you know, wherever she's into. <coughs> and now he's outside the car. Did old car's rear window roll down? Save this for later. <clears throat> yep, this is good eating. You don't want to let this go to waste. All right, here we go. Joseph Javorski, noted scientist, corpse collector, dedicated his life to the betterment of mankind. Except for these two mankind, the other mankinds. You know, the true story of Corpse Bride is a lot more depressing than the movie. He's dead, Jim. No problem. The coyotes will take care of that. Eat the corpse, strip the car for parts. Yeah, it should be cleaned up by morning. Or right, you don't go nowhere. I'm not sure what the hesitation was for. Were you afraid you'd get more dead? <coughs> Tommy drove home and never thought about that night again.
I know I say this a lot, but this is good exposition. We never know how he got here if we didn't see him drive all that way. Like most movies, we've gone for the straight jump cut, but then you just get Young lost. Joker. You have no idea how he got here. Desert Patrol. Officer. Yeah? There's a man dead. Back down the road. Dead? How far down? A couple miles. Maybe more. Land Could be a state or car. two. It's really hard to tell. Looks um, like he's been choked. Well, that's my good deed for the year. Time to go home. <sighs> Seven miles. What the hell is that kid thinking? Jesus. Well, I see the car, but I don't see no body. Did it? No body? <laughs> I crack me up. Maybe he's inside. Nope, not inside. Better turn his lights off, though. Don't want his battery to die. Oh, nope, yep, there's a corpse right there. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't see my own head if it wasn't right in front of me. With, with a mirror, that is. Obviously, my head's not in front of me all the time. But anyway, about this corpse. Joe Dobson. Caught in the wheels of progress. Is he? Same. State patrolman in the middle of the freaking desert. How much progress they see? Not really the height of innovation in the desert. <laughs> Man choked to death. A woman's purse. Hey, narrator, don't be so judgy. That could be the man's purse. On the wasteland. Oh, gods, I got a tinkle. That was a long drive. Guess I should figure out this whole murder thing, though. Alright, well, back to work. Just gonna leave the body there, huh? Okay. <laughs> Cars racing through the desert wasteland. It's bored, Touch Max. Things happen. A scientist becomes I mean, you hope a so. beast. Otherwise, I'll push the button. Also, beast is a bit much, isn't it? It doesn't look so bad. He has killed a few people, but, like, who hasn't? Everybody's a hobby. And day to day, he's trying to help humanity. If he wants to kill a few people at night, I don't think feel like we should begrudge him. Joe. Oh, Jim's got a surprisingly deep voice and a surprising name for that face, but still. Did everyone in the old days wear shoes around their house? Am I a weirdo? Am I the only one who goes barefoot? Let me know in the comments. Yeah. I'm just curious. Better come with me. Trouble up the road. Murder. Be right down. You put it on ice, you can eat that this weekend. I think an awful lot of cannibalism jokes. I might want to tone those down. She was on for nothing. This is See you bullshit. later, honey. Yeah, have fun with your corpses, stupid husband. Jim Archer, never got married. Joe's partner. Another man caught in the frantic race for the betterment of mankind. Progress. Again, is it and are they, though? I mean, they're just... The highway patrolman, it's not really the betterment of mankind, it's more like the betterment of the Tri-County area. And Jim Archer. what what progress? Wounded did, did they just get cops? Jim and Joe try to keep the desert road safe for travelers. They're, you see, yeah, Seven that's... Days a week. Whatever. 
Oh, that's kind of bullshit, though. They need to hire some help. Could at least get an A day off, not two. The hills are alive with the sound of corpse bride. Welcome home, honey. So, Bruce Banner got hit with nuclear radiation and became the Hulk. Spider-Man got bit by a radioactive spider and became Spider-Man. The Fantastic Four got hit with radioactive waves and became Shock the Fantastic Four. The this guy got Once hit with radiation and became a psychopath? Reduced to nothing. He's not nothing, that's rude announcer. He's something, he's a murderer. I'm not saying it's good, I'm just saying he's not nothing. Like, that's just, you know, come on. Give the guy some credit. <laughs> Gonna eat her or neck with her? Boy, I gotta tell you, I had no idea what we're looking for. Oh, sun coming up. Time for morning yoga. He can't be all that mindless. He needs a walking stick. It's not nothing. It's, it's it's relatively close to nothing, but it's not nothing. Joseph Javorsky. Joseph Respected Javorsky. Scientist. Now a fiend. Big divorce Proud dad energy. His life left him, then he goes around a killing and kidnapping people. Oh yeah, she's she's breathing, she's fine. Kill. Kill just to be killing. How is he prehistoric? The radiation devolve him? Again, worst deal out of anyone we know that got deaths from radiation. Well, besides all the people who died. Because radiation will not give you superpowers. It will not turn you into a caveman. It will boil your insides and you will vomit them up. It is terrifying and horrible. A and murdered. terrible way to die. A woman's purse. Again, it could be the man's purse. Quit being so judgy. Jesus. Dude wants to carry a purse, it should be allowed. Jim and Joe pick their way upward to the mouth of the cave. Jim and Joe, most creative One writing staff ever. And a thousand feet to nowhere. Nowhere? Why is Alaska at the bottom of this cliff? Damn this director and his gratuitous butt shots. Oh yeah, she's still breathing. She's fine. Well, well there's the owner of the purse. Yeah. It could have been the dude. Let's take her down. May still be alive. Yeah, she's breathing. You can see it. Yeah, she's still breathing. Cover with her arm, Joe. Oh, it just fell right off. Oh, that's that's awkward. You tell him to be careful with your other arm, then you step on this one. What the hell? And another gratuitous butt shot. This director's got issues. Look, if he's into that, that's fine. But I, I mean, I want to see it. Like, come on. All right, let's go ahead and just throw her down the cliff. We'll meet her down there. All right. And Joe, here, feel her pulse. Well, doctors can't help her. Maybe angels, but not doctors. I mean, here, I feel like angels can help any one of us. They're ethereal beings with celestial powers. They don't really. Oh, they mean she's dead. Okay. Well. Still, I feel like angels could help any one of us. Kids are doing this wrong. You gotta yell, here he, here he is, or shouting out the uh, headlines and saying, read all about it. Not men and wife! 
Love that guy. Mr. Wife was a good guy. Weird middle name. All those initials do spell Ma, and that's pretty awesome. Vacation time. People travel east, west, north, or south. Sometimes northeast, sometimes northwest. Travel east with two small boys. They're not their boys. boys. They just picked them up on the way. Nothing bothers some people. Not even flying saucers. Come on, Art. Let's get some. There been flying out. saucers in this movie? Did I miss something? Hey, hey Mister. Uh, do you mind if we bother you a minute? Well, why stop when you already started? <sighs> Bastard. All right, sweetie. You finished lunch for me. I'll be back, girl. Boys from the city, not yet caught in the whirlwind of progress. So progress only takes place in rural communities? Progress never happens in the city. It takes place on the farm. GPS was invented on a farm. Coyotes. Also the PlayStation. Once a menace to travelers. I think he's pooping. Missile bases run them off their hunting grounds. Oh, he's chained. Okay. How much I owe you? Three dollars. For closing your hood? Boys! We're leaving! Oh, the coyote wants to go too. Take him! Take him! He looks so bored. Mom, we saw some real pigs. Yeah, and a coyote. Coyote? Yeah. Don't you be playing with coyotes. I thought I told you to quit Come making up animals! We're leaving. Come on. Oh, we never get to have any fun. Let him play with the coyote. See how much fun he thinks it is. There's two doors, kids. You have to go on the same one. Uh, Jim, you're a little close to my ass there. You want to back it up a bit? No, Joe, I do shade. not. And no shade. Then why do we care how hot it is in the Jim shade? Jim and Joe try to make their way up to the plateau. To reach the top, a man needs an airplane. A jump from a plane could land you on top. Damn shame they don't have an airplane. Also, that last sentence was completely unnecessary. You already said that the plane would get you on top. You don't need to include the, the jump from the plane. Like, we, we know, you just said. It's fine. Oh, Jim, you are my rock. And Joe, you got a hole in your shirt there. I don't want to make yourself conscious or nothing, but... I should know. But the killers, not on the plateau. Oh, for a caveman, Mr. Narrator, he seems to be avoiding the shit out of them cops. Seems like he's not as dumb as you thought he was, asshole. Just because someone's a murderer doesn't make them a beast. Ours makes them a lot of other negative things, but... Sun, with no trace of the killer. To put Jim Archer's uh, paratroop training to good use... Jim, that was our waste container. You might want to quit swigging on that. A trip up into the skies and jump. And if the killer is on the plateau, kill him. This explains a lot about cop mentality. We found our suspect. Quick, shoot him. No, no jury trial or anything. That's that's just extra steps. You don't need that. Just, just kill him. We're gonna assume he blew a tire, not that he's a shitty driver. Although, to be fair, it could be both. Also, commercial break. For those on Twitch. For those on YouTube, well, nobody loves me on your platform, therefore there's no commercials. I don't see the boys. 
Ah, that's good. I've been trying to get rid of them for miles. Wait a minute. Dollar Store Red Foreman, what are you doing here? Jim. Isn't that kid 12? Shoot first. Ask Is he old later. enough to be a cop? That wasn't his wife, was it? Uh, I gotta get out of this law life once I graduate high school. That plane got moving real quick and real fast. Must have one of those aircraft carrier slingshots on the runway. Don't you guys get a squad car or anything? Also, did that plane crash or what's the story? Why am I more concerned with background elements than I am with the actual movie? Do. Nah, they're probably just taking a shit. They'll be back. Stay here, I'll go out farther. We'll find them. Oh, yeah. He's gonna go off and do some vigorous hiking looking for his boys. Perfect time for a cigarette. Helps you keep the lungs in shape, you know what I'm saying? Not right I'm now. I'm just, oh, you're you're calling for your kids. I thought she was asking a question. Yeah, it's fine. She does have some mad middle-aged mom energy vibing off her, doesn't she? Good casting. Although she does look a little bit like Easter hiding eggs. Those kids must be the killer. I better shoot them. Should have dropped out of the Boy Scouts. Can we follow the trail? No, let's just go off into the underbrush. It'll be more fun. Uh, okay. Am I still in the movie? God damn, I should have asked for reactions. Is one of the kids named Bart? Did I miss that? I'm just saying, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing I'd miss. Like, it, I feel like I'd notice if a kid's name was Bart. Then make an Eat My Shorts reference. Or something. I don't know. I'd come up with something. But the point, like, yeah, you know, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure his name's not Bart. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. As I walk through fields of barley In that car in an hour. That is she upset? Is she bored? I'm not sure what emotion I'm supposed to be getting from this. Be out. Wait, so he's in the restricted zone now, right? Because that's how signs work. It's it's posted on the other side. So he just crossed out of the restricted space. Right? Not in. Can we read the sign? Government property missile range. Yeah, see, so he crossed out of the missile range. So he's fine now. Because that's how signs work. He didn't cross into the missile range. Because why would they print the sign facing into the missile range? So... I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be getting from this. Are we in the missile range? Oh golly, I don't know. As I in missile range? 
Because I was in missile range before. It was not good experience. Always Me no there. like. Looking for something or somebody to kill. He doesn't look like he's on the Quench prowl. He looks like he's on a hike. Thirst. So wait, is he seeing the kids? Or are they in the same area? I don't, the way you're cutting this, I have no idea what the fuck's happening. I am a little jelly of his walking stick, though. That thing's pretty dope. I kind of want one. And is the father even in the same movie at this point? I don't... <laughs> Where are they in relation to each other? Why was I up here again? Damn it, I forgot. Yeah. And for the life of me, remember what the hell I'm up here for. Hey, pilot, do you know what? What, what are you knocking? Who's gonna answer? Oh, he spotted a deer. Always a hunter, this guy. So, you're just shooting at the first guy you see. What, what would have happened if the first guy you saw was a Spartan? Would he still shot, you think? Well, he's got no reason to suspect this guy's the killer. Law enforcement in action, and people wonder why we hate cops. That guy might have done something wrong. Kill him! Also, can't tell if he tripped or if he got shot. I think he tripped. I think he's fine. Go! This is, this is besides the point, but I don't see a clip on that rifle. It just looks like a... Like you'd have to feed it between shots, and he's, he's not. He's ejecting cartridges, but he's not feeding it. There's no, there's no clip. Like, how many rounds does it hold? I didn't even hear it shoot that time. Ah, the great rock butts of the Midwest. Whoa. Fine, I'll get off your missile range, Jesus! Man, the dollar store red foreman's way bigger dick than the real red foreman. Although maybe this is what he did before he had Eric kind of. Is this an Alfred Hitchcock film? Again, is he is he dead? He seems like a tool, I don't necessarily care. I'm just, you know, can we move on? Oh, he tuckered himself out. Shoot first, ask questions later. Yeah, first rule of law enforcement. We don't need reform, it's fine. I'm right next to you, Jim. You can just tell me what you want. Uh, we haven't landed yet. <laughs> or if you knew that. Jim, do you do something Pilot stupid again, like back. jump out of a plane? If Joe Dobson moves north, Hank will be caught in the middle. Wait, who's Hank? An innocent victim. Oh, the, the father. Wheels of justice. I... I can't tell if the narrator supports the police's action of shooting at random strangers, or if he's upset by it. It's almost like he supports the cops, but he also feels bad for the innocent. Like, yeah, maybe we should not let innocents get shot. Man runs. Somebody shoots at him. Again, law enforcement. I'm trying to parachute his way into a different movie. Yeah. Way to go, Hank. Playing possum never fails. I got all, all them fights in high school. Ow! I'm okay. <laughs> eh, 
can't stop it, Parachute. I'm where I want to be. Stop. <laughs> Jim Archer, ex-paratrooper, current trying asshole. to hunt down his man and destroy him. You can say kill, it's fine. I skinned my elbow while that guy was shooting at me. Oh. I think I found that bush. I haven't had to go so bad in years. Alright, back to the pun. a few hundred yards between him and the enemy. Jim closes in for the kill. Why was Hank drawing symbols in the sand? Stop shooting, you asshole. I'm looking for my kids. Maybe I should just leave. I always wanted to start fresh anyway. Go to New York, be a rock cat. A uh, woman can dream. I hope she hasn't grown up to be a rocket yet. Oh yeah, stand in the middle of the road. That's that's great. And the sign said slow. No, Hank, slow. The sign said slow. You're in your ticket. Hank, where are the boys? Why are you running? I have the time to explain, Lois. Stay here. The boys may come back. Gotta get help. Never mind. Hank's gonna leave his wife here to be killed by the random weirdo that was shooting at him in the airplane, and he's going to New York to be a rockhead. Good on you, Hank. Live your truth. It's a little fucked up. <laughs> but, like, you know, I mean, whatever. As long as he's happy, I guess. It'd be nice if the four of them could have been happy together. Met Jim. Nope, Joe, I'm over here! Quit driving off! God damn it. Twenty hours without rest and still no enemy. Why are they drinking out of the toilet? I don't eat. understand. Jim and Joe plan another attack. Find the beast and kill him. All right. Well, I found some random kill weirdo and I shot at him. It could have been the beast. Could have not been too. I don't know. To man. Feels like man's stupidity at this point. Shoot first and ask questions later. Now I'm trigger happy, trigger happy every day. Yo, Hank, this is why you keep getting shoot at. Quit trying to break into people's property. I deliver pieces to areas like this and they expect me to open the gate, and I'm still afraid I'm gonna get fucking shot. Oh, the kid stumbled onto a hemp farm. That, that's blurry, that might not be hemp. I think it's hemp. Mom had to relieve herself. No shame. There's no toilets out here. She's gotta go. She's gotta go. Don't judge. Randy, you think we're lost? Uh, do you know Maybe. where the fuck we are? I then yeah, know. we're probably lost, huh, Maybe. asshole? Jesus. Let's go. Where will I hide all these eggs? And who will find them once I have? Mother's work is never done. Is that water to, These are officially the two dumbest kids in the history. No, it's a river of hydrochloric acid, you morons. <laughs> what else would it be? So the mutation that turned him into the beast is just actually really dry skin? 
right? Like, he didn't look that bad. And another gratuitous butt shot. And this time it's kids, director. What the fuck? It was sulfur water. I don't want any. I'd rather die than drink egg water. Gross. Uh, Randy, can you quit howling, please? It's not funny. You know what? They want to walk off and leave me. Maybe I'll just leave this dumb movie. I'm made for bigger parts than this. I'm out of here. Hey, what was I doing again? Uh, alright. Gotta kill something. Maybe over here? Some direction would be nice. I'm... Does he see the kids? Is that where we're supposed to take away from this? I'm... Also, does Tor have a dent in his uh, head? Uh, he was just saying hi! Kids are so rude. Get off my lawn! I should stick out. Oh, never mind. Don't have time for that joke. My bad. Joe, do we have any idea where the hell we're going? Nope, not a one, Jim, but I'm sure we'll find something somewhere. Maybe in Kansas. Let's just keep walking this way. Randy? What? Where are we? It's a cave! I guess. God, you two are dumb. Be careful. Look, I know it's not cool to say it because they're kids, but I'm starting to think they deserve to die. Don't talk about it. Come on. Man, Gandalf looks terrible in his old age. Whoa, Jesus! Jesus, the cops! Uh. Uh. Tor, you're better than this. You are in Plan Nine from Outer Space. God damn it! Uh. 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 Admittedly, not a great example, but still. Oh no, shit! Look at that. The beast is getting down. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I thought he was break dancing. The beast, finding his victim gone, unleashes his fury. By fury, the answer means he threw a hissy temper tantrum like a three-year-old. Come on, beast, we've been over this. You're a big boy now. You can't be throwing these temper tantrums. He was in love with that victim. Well, something resembling love. It, it, it's beast love. It, it's weird, all right? Just like, it's fine, whatever. Stick, you're my only friend now. Guys, the beast tuckered himself out. Shh, 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 just let him rest. Just let him rest. Talk so loud around the sleeping murderer. Get back. Well, see, you just spoke loud enough he knows you're there now. Is there a ghost in the oh no, it's the mom. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Movie, you're acting like something way more exciting is happening than I'm saying. I wanna see what the hell you're alluding to, honestly. That that, that sounds like a much more exciting movie. Neighbors. The search narrows. What neighbors? There's nothing out here. Ah, the plot thins! I 
I can't tell if it's daytime because it's supposed to be daytime or because that's just what the colorist decided on. <laughs> Eat poor beast is all tuckered out. Fell asleep right on all his yeah. chocolate chips. Chocolate chunks? Chocolate rocks. I don't. Is he throwing the rocks at the kids? Because I didn't see a rock. And Joe and Jim continue to be absolutely useless. Oh, he got his whacking stick. You boys better run. Joe and Jim are in the right state anymore. I don't understand how the, mod the beast is so close to the boys, because, like, he moves at half the speed of smell. Like, are you two just really slow? Also, judging by where his hand is, did they just shoot the beast in the ass? Because that's rude. The lung, the head, whatever, but like the ass? Come on, man. It's fucked up. Oh, of course, the big disfigured guy must be the killer. Way to profile cops. Hate law enforcement. Oh, you see there, a bullet bit his ass. Joe, you're gonna have to suck the venom out. <laughs> Don't wake me, Tor Sleepy! I'm sorry, that's the actor's name. It's, uh, what was it? Dr. Divorce or something like that? Divorce Arena? Who wants the airplane? Bear hug! Bear hug! This is simultaneously violent and also a little intimate. I think the beast likes you, Jim. At least someone does. Your wife seemed... lukewarm at best. the beast looks upset about killing you, right? Like, it doesn't seem like it brings him pleasure. Like, he seems very sad. Someone's slamming a screen door. You stop it, we're watching a movie. You wanna get up, Jim, or you just wanna roll around there a little more? Oh, that's unfortunate Jim. head placement. Jim, can you move, please? All right. Another gratuitous butt shot, by the way. Yeah. Can you can you get your head away from his business zone, please? Thank you. That kind of movie. Not that there would be anything wrong with that. But that's not what we're watching. Oh wait, thanks, Bessie. You were a real help. There, just laying in the dirt. God damn gun, never there for you when you need it. Could have shot him yourself. You didn't need Job's help. Shit. Joe and again, the cops leave yet another corpse in the middle of the desert. Scientist. Dead person. Although he is, he is still moving, so that's probably something they should check on. No. No. Okay. That poor wife is completely fucking abandoned. Nobody's even checking up on her. We don't know. It could have been like four hours now. She's just sitting on the side of the road, burning in the heat. Oh, let's get a bunny rabbit. That's a good thank you movie. We didn't love a cute bunny. Look at him. Are we hearing another movie? Mom. Like, okay, there's the boys finding their mother, but... Oh 
Mr. Rabbit, no, get out of there! He's a monster! He'll eat ya! Get out of there, Rabbit! Oh, no, don't, don't do it, Beast! Don't do it! Don't hurt the bunny! Beast, don't hurt the bunny! Let him go, Beast! I think the rabbit's okay. I think the rabbit's okay. I think we're fine. The rabbit's okay. The rabbit's okay. Guys! Guys! It's fine. The rabbit's okay. Don't- don't worry. Don't worry. I, th I think he's gonna leave now. Th there he goes. There he goes. The rabbit's okay. The rabbit's okay, everybody. Whew. I mean, you could've killed the kids. Whatever. I don't care. But, like, don't- don't hurt the rabbit, man. Everybody loves a rabbit. I don't know. Anyway, that was the Beast of Yucca Flats. <laughs> it was, a. Uh... Well, let's just call it a, uh, an interesting movie, okay? Let's just do that. Let's call it an interesting movie. It was fun, huh? It was a good time. We had fun, right? Yeah, you liked it. You liked it. Um. So, yeah, that's going to do it for me. I got other stuff to do. Uh, so we're gonna call the stream there for tonight. Uh, I am feeling a little bit better. This went better than the last few streams I've tried to do all six, so we might be live again tomorrow night. I'm gonna try to get back on my regular schedule again. This, of course, will be posted to YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe, even though YouTube has decided it does not want to push me in the algorithm anymore, so, you know, fuck you, YouTube. Anyway, tell your friends, that'll help. Um, and also, if you are interested, if you enjoy my riffs, if you like to watch me make fun of movies, then uh, look through copyright-free movies like on Cult Seminar Classics here. Great channel. Love them. Please give them a subscribe. And uh, suggest movies you'd like to see me do in the future. I'm open to, suge suge open to suggestions. I'm also open to English lessons. If anyone would like to teach me how to speak, that would be beautiful. I would love you. Anyway, my friends, my freaks, my villains, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I do appreciate it. Until next time, remember to take care of yourselves, look out for one another, and have a great day. Good night. And good luck.